ask me like i want to shift my career into data and at the moment i asked them why hello everyone and welcome to this video guys and in this video i'll be telling you to you guys who want to shift their career into data analytics people are doing bcom btech bba and everything people are a lot of people are interested in data analytics they are very curious about to learn about data analytics so in this video i'll tell you exactly method a plan to follow if you want to shift your career into data analytics so let's get started so first thing i'll tell you some numbers what exactly and where does data analytics stand so in india itself there are 90000 97000 job openings which are not at filled for the data analytics position and uh, the data analytics thing will be growing 32% in overall all the market by 2026 and the minimum package for data analytics will be 20 lpa that is what something the statistics and figures are telling i tell you why exactly what is the reason behind that you all see everywhere everyone is consuming data there are a lot of people who consume data there are a lot of people who view data to certain organization right your aadhar card your pan card your income tax everywhere the data is collected right where is it stored who is taking care of the data so everything is done by a data analytics or a data scientist person right people take out decision people make decision based on some data analytics for example example if there is a pattern certain level of a pattern certain way of your know, eating habits so zomato will accordingly guide you this is what um the suggest food suggestion zomato will give you right this all is done by data analyst or a data science person right so that's why data analytics data science um, job profile or a um, uh, kind of environment becomes more important and the demand for job will be growing day by day right this is a overall picture of data analytics i tell you the reality of data analytics how it works okay before uh, uh understanding the things first you should understand exactly what is the reality behind that if you really want to become a data analytics these are the four pointers which you have to follow i tell you why i have mentioned these things first thing is passion just because you have seen it on youtube videos just because you have seen in the market just because you have seen in somewhere on the youtube someone is talking about data analytics oh there is a lot of demand into data analytics a lot of people are joining to data analytics so we should go to data analytics is it the right choice no think and understand why data analytics is important will i be able to survive in the data analytics data science industry is it related am i able to relate to that industry think this first i'll tell you how to identify your passion take a blank paper write your um, write your strength write your weakness and see how where you can fit in data analytics right number one thing figure out your passion second thing money are you choosing your data analytics for the money i know 90% of the students want to shift their career because just because of the money and the brand right just because oh google is hiring google has given a good package of 20 lpa 30 lpa someone a lot of companies like startups are giving good amount of money so i want to shift my career into data analytics i don't know any anything about data analytics but just because there is a lot of demand people are talking on youtube that data analytics is the future there is a lot of money into data analytics this is because of that i want to shift my career into data analytics please guys i'm telling you this is a trap if you want to choose a career just because of these things then i am telling you a big no for you guys please don't choose data analytics second comes again social media you watch on youtube you watch on instagram you watch on other social media platforms seeing the people are always talking about data analytics but the reality guys is are you really interested for data analytics can you solve statistics can you solve mathematics are you good at python are you good at logical thinking are you good at communication decision making are you good at that right first think about that right only then you are supposed to choose data analytics guys because that is more important right you go to any profession guys nobody will tell you to sit idle everywhere wherever you go there is a work you have to do work somewhere with me maybe a manual work where you have to do it from the hand cleaning wiping and other lot of things somewhere it will be mental work where you have to think about being you pressurized to your brain and work right wherever you go work will always be there but before that think about these things the reality of data analytics lies over this passion money prank and social media don't be in this trap guys if you are in this trap i'm telling you don't choose data analytics right next if you're really really interested to do data analytics and if you really want to pursue your career into data analytics 
this is what you're supposed to do. I'm telling from the perspective of a person who is studying, who is working, who has just started his career and want to shift his career into data analytics, right? So what are you supposed to do? You are supposed to learn technical skills. I have heard this many times, big, big institutes, big, big coaching centers tell start learning Python, start an SQL. No, guys, a big no. First, start learning basic, build your platform, see if you are able to build your interest. See if you're able to build your interest in Excel, Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets. These are the basic things of data analytics, guys, where you learn about data cleaning, VLOOKUP, pivot table. These are the basic things you have to start. And then you have to go advanced, guys. First, you learn about that. Next comes statistics, guys. Statistics is more important because where you will be, you know, applying those things when you have a lot of data, how to, you know, take up the decision and there comes statistics. Next is your SQL, another query language where you have to learn about SQL, understand the things, then come to Python and then come to Power BI, right? These are the major, major technical skills what you're supposed to learn in data analytics. And once you cover that, then you come to the soft skill that is decision making and communication. Again, guys, I'm repeating you again and again. This is not a table workshop you are supposed to do work where you should have a balance of both technical skill as well as management skill you should have technical skill related to excel statistics sql python tableau or power bi and when it comes to soft skills you should have the ability to talk in the public uh, tell uh, give speeches give presentation because that is your day-to-day -day work and that, that's how your day-to-day -day work will look like right so understand this thing first are you good at communication skills are you able to solve problem do you have that curiosity to do logical thinking right think this first right these are very much important guys if you want to pursue your career into data analytics and next next comes how many hours of things um data analytics you want to give how many hours of time you're supposed to give to data analytics minimum to minimum one to two hours daily and on weekend you have to give at least three to four hours guys understand learn practice about data analytics right so this is all overview of data analytics and i'm telling the reality of data analytics because i'm working as a hr analyst and i understand because there are a lot of candidates a lot of people come to me and they ask they ask me like you know, i want to shift my career into data analytics. the moment i ask them why they are very clueless so because i saw on youtube videos i saw somewhere on google blah blah and it's showing that there is a lot of demand because of that i want to shift my career there is no basic sense why right so understand this for understand be clear with your aspiration exactly why you want to choose career as a data analytics right guys this is a reality of the data analytics i really wanted to put out this video i know a lot of the big big institutes and this other institute will tell you know no this is not how it works but this is how it works guys because i have worked in professional industry i have been in corporate industry and seen this is how it works hr people manage around hiring manager will look into your aspirations not about your money not about your, oh you can't tell to the hr or the manager person saying that, oh there is a big demand into data analytics that's why i'm shifting my career into data analytics the moment you say that you are initially at, at that point only you will be rejected that's how it is guys that's it from my side guys this is what reality i wanted to tell about data analytics if you have any queries any questions anything you want to ask me please please reach out to me on linkedin reach out to me on instagram i always be available for you apart from that if you want to make a resume uh you want guidance with, with related to a career guidance and whatever it is please reach out to me i have given a google form in the description box below fill that form and reach out to me i'll always be available for you till then thank you so much guys and all the best